You can't see it, taste it, or smell it, but radon may be a problem in your home. Radon is a colorless, odorless gas produced by the natural decay of uranium, an element found in nearly all soils, in rock, and in water. Radon can be found all over the United States. It typically moves up from the ground to the air above and into your home through cracks in the foundation, floors, and walls, and gaps around service pipes and construction joints. Any home can have a radon problem, whether it's new or old, drafty or well-sealed, with or without a basement. Why should we be concerned about radon? Because of its health risks. We talked with a local physician about radon and your health. Radon is a radioactive gas. When inhaled into the lung, uh, it can damage the cells of the lung and uh, lead to a chain of events which over a lifetime can lead to the formation of cancer cells. Uh, with the accumulation of a large amount of evidence, scientists have concluded that radon is second only to cigarette smoking as a cause of lung cancer. And for smokers, radon exposure is particularly risky. And considering this cancer-causing ability, it's vitally important that people check the radon levels in their homes, and if they're elevated, consider making the changes that are often quite simple that can reduce that risk. This particular cancer-causing agent is a preventable one to a large degree, and I think it's important that people know that. The good news is that you can test for radon, and if it's a problem, it can be fixed. Testing is inexpensive and easy. It only takes a few minutes to set up. You can test for radon yourself or hire a trained contractor to do it for you. Joining us today is Doug Clatter. Doug is the Associate Director of the Western Regional Radon Training Center. Thanks for being here, Doug. My pleasure, Sandy. So how would you make that decision as to whether to test for radon yourself or to hire a contractor to come in and do the testing? Although a lot of homeowners test their own homes with these simple test kits, it's also very common that a person will hire a contractor to test a home that they're thinking to purchase so that they can be sure that the conditions are met of the test and have confidence in the results that they get from that contractor. So how would I hire a contractor to test for radon? Contractors who perform radon measurements are trained, pass an examination, are certified by the National Environmental Health Association to perform radon tests. So in choosing a contractor, look to a person who is certified, and you'll find that in the yellow pages um, with their uh, advertisement. So if I'm a homeowner and I decide I'm going to do the testing myself, how do I choose a radon test kit? There are several test devices out there. Those that you, we would suggest that you use are those that are approved by either the EPA or the National Environmental Health Association. Furthermore, it depends on what you're going to do with the test. Generally, and it's simple test devices as are available here from the city, are short-term tests that you would place in the lowest portion of the house that you spend time for a short period with all the doors and windows closed. And if the results come back less than four, you can be assured that it's less than four than other parts of the building. However, if it is in excess of four, that indicates the potential of rate on your home. Then the next step would be to go to a long-term test and place that in the house without any conditions of closing doors and windows to determine how, what you're exposed to and how you live in that home. And if the results of this test, the long-term test, are in excess of four, we would recommend that you take action to reduce those levels. Doug, I get my test back. What level of radon should I be concerned about? Although there's some risk with any radon exposure, uh, the US EPA and the Surgeon General recommend that people take action if they find that their levels are at four picocuries per liter uh, on a long-term basis. If a homeowner finds an unacceptable level, what should be done? First, don't panic, because all, all homes that have elevated radon levels can be fixed. Though most people think initially that you could take care of it by maybe keep caulking some of the openings in the foundation, but actually that doesn't work by itself. What a contractor has to do is create a vacuum underneath the building that draws the radon out before it comes into the building through a simple system of pipes and fans. Doug, in general, what does a radon mitigation system look like? That's a good question a lot of homeowners have. It's a function of the type of foundation. If it's a concrete slab, like you would have in a basement, it's typically about a six inch diameter hole cut through the concrete slab, a little bit of dirt taken out, and then a four inch pipe routed through the, through the house and out through the roof. And there's a fan that only draws like about 65 watts, like a light bulb that pulls the soil gases out. 
or if you have a crawl space, the contractor will lay down a high density sheet of plastic on the crawl space floor, and the same type of fan and piping system draws air out from underneath that plastic, accomplishing the same thing of drawing the radon leaving soil gas out. Doug, what other questions do people ask about radon? You get a lot of questions from homeowners that are planning to test their homes, such as, how many test devices do I need? We are only going to need to test the lowest portion of the house that you spend time in. So we only need one level of the home that we're going to test. And within that level, we only need to test one room that you frequently occupy, such as a bedroom or, or a living room, but only one of those. So you only really need to have one test device to accomplish this. Another question is, how do I operate my house? Or special conditions. When you op run a short-term test, all the exterior doors and windows are closed for 12 hours prior to and all during the test. And one should read the directions because uh, it'll contain that information as well. Uh, if you're running a long-term test to find out what you're exposed to as independent of how you operate the home, then there is no conditions or requirements for all the exterior doors and windows to be closed. Doug, do you have any other advice for people concerned about radon in their homes? There was one piece of advice I would give the people is not to be afraid or avoid testing for fear that there is not a solution to this problem. Of all the radon concerns that we find here in Colorado and also around the world, it's not just a concern associated with Colorado, that radon can be fixed and the technology is well known in the hands of contractors and even in handy do-it-yourselfers. We really appreciate the information, Doug. Thanks for joining us. My pleasure. Fort Collins City Code requires this informational brochure concerning radon be provided to residential home buyers at the point of sale prior to the contract being signed. The required information must be provided by the seller or any person acting on behalf of the seller, such as a realtor. The law does not require that testing or repairs be done. Radon is a very real danger, and if you're a smoker or live in the foothills around Fort Collins, the risks are even higher. So be radon smart. Test, and if necessary, take action to remove the danger of radon from your home.